Hi, I'm Carolyn and I'm going to be running through some little hints and tips about using acrylic templates. So there's perhaps there are things you might not have thought of or perhaps that's a product that you've never used before. But acrylic templates like this um, are becoming increasingly popular, especially for patchwork patterns that have got really odd or different sized shapes. Um, and often that's to do with hand piecing. And if you're going to make a lot of blocks using these awkward sized pieces and shapes, then acrylic templates were a really good idea because they keep everything accurate. And I'll show you how. So these templates that I've got here, uh, you can see they're transparent. So to start with, that's going to mean that you can see through onto the fabric. Um, so if I wanted a fussy cut, I can do that. They've got hard edges, so it means you can draw around them without making the template smaller, because often if you have cardboard templates, the more times you draw around it, the edges get a bit fuzzy and probably the shape gets a little bit smaller eventually. So you can draw around them and you've got nice crisp lines. You can also rotary cut because they're acrylic like your rotary cutting ruler. And usually the smaller rotary cutter um, this is the 28 mil that works really well because it's good for little edges and like trimming off the tops and bottoms and that sort of thing. So when the templates come, they will often have a backing. And in this case, this one's a paper. Sometimes it's like a sticky opaque plastic and that will just peel off. And that's all gone. It means you can see through now. What you can then see is that you've got, usually they're labelled, sometimes they've got grain line on, and they will often have these little holes, and they will often have like a little line, and that technically is your sewing line. So if you drew round this shape on the back of your fabric, let's pop that there, and now even drawing, remember if you're drawing, you want a sharp pencil, because you don't want a thick line to cut. And hence, I usually use a propelling pencil for fabric of some description. And if you're hand piecing, you can mark in these little dots, which show you where to start and stop piecing for hand piecing. But equally, if you're going to machine piece some of the shapes which the templates come in, because you're going to be setting in, you need to know where to start and stop. And if you're worried about eyeballing that or using the right foot, then just mark the dots with the pencil. So, and that's going to be a marker for you. Now, if you do a lot of hand piecing, you're probably at the stage where you can put the pieces together and stitch from dot to dot without any line to follow. But if you're a bit worried about that, then just use the edge of your template here and you can draw the line between dot to dot. And you know that's accurate because on your template, you just match up that line with the drawn line and then this is your sewing line. So you've got lots, they're quite sort of, you've got lots of things you can use within that little piece of plastic. Now, if you're rotary cutting them, then it doesn't really matter, let's find this diamond, which side you cut unless you've got a template that isn't symmetrical. So sometimes you've got asymmetrical things, sometimes you've got reversed and that sort of thing. And that's cool because you can just double your fabric up and cut through two at a time. One thing that is handy, or I find, for rotary cutting these, and I'll see if I can work it out, is a rotary cutting mat that's a turntable. So you can see this swivels round. And it means that if you're cutting awkward shapes or weird shapes, let's do a little square, because that's, you can pop it on. I'm gonna line up my straight of grain on here, and I'm gonna start cutting. Now, if you think about it, we're only meant to be rotary cutting away from our bodies. That's like such an important tip for rotary cutting. You never bring it towards you, and you never try to cut across yourself if you can. So, if I'm gonna cut this out, I'm going to be, you can see I've got four sides, so I'm gonna be able to press away from me 
actually if I just snip that fabric to come away there we go so you're cutting away from you you can then turn this so that you're still cutting away from you all right and you see if I keep moving that round okay I can take that away and then final piece I can turn that round there we go so even though sometimes these are going to be awkward shapes, having something like a little rotary turntable mat is going to make things a lot easier. Otherwise, use a little mat and actually turn the whole mat, okay? In that way, you can keep up the accuracy on your templates. So remember, with the rotary cutting templates, peel the back off so you can see through. If you think the template's big and it might slip as you're pressing down, then use the little sticky dots you can get um, and that will sort of help keep them in place or the little sandpaper dots. You can use the dots, more dots, holes in the corner for accuracy when either you machine or hand piece. So all in all, if you're thinking of doing a project with a lot of pieces that are sort of awkward shaped, if you see that there's a, a an acrylic template set for that it actually can be worth your while because it's going to make your sewing job a whole lot more fun a whole lot easier